Praise the Lord. Um, since the beginning of this month. Even before this month began. As the church we've been learning about Thanksgiving. Being grateful. And a lot we talked about. Amen. Hopefully we are learning. Amen. Um, and we are continuing with thanksgiving. Oh, being grateful. We are learning about the ten men. The lepers. The ones that Jesus met. And they were healed. But after their healing, it is only the one that turned back to give thanks. But yet all the ten were cleansed. So let us be careful. We should not be amongst those others. They were all cleansed. But a few of them came back to give thanks. was only one man. Sometimes the reason as to why we don't give thanks or we are not grateful it is because there are times we think it had to happen. There is something we call the entitlement mentality. I deserve it. It is a must for me to have it. And the entitlement mentality is a dangerous one. Praise the Lord. Child of God, I want to bring some news to you. I don't know whether you'll take it as good news or bad news. But I want to tell you that God is not indebted to you. God doesn't owe you. He does not have any debt with you, so he must pay it. No. Anything that God gives to you, it doesn't do it because it is a must. But it gives you because he has decided to give. One time I heard a statement from Dr. Serada. And I say those days back. They were still preaching the gospel and they were youth, young men. So sometimes he could do evangelism with Pastor Kayanja. He said one day Kayanja made a statement. Those are many years back. God only has mercy on you to add or include you in his miracle. Wow. Because this man has walked under the anointing of miracles. Watch those crusades. It is undeniable he's under that anointing. But one day he made a statement. God can decide. He said the miracle whether you're there or not. Mm. 
Because this is the way to use you for that miracle. To he has only had mercy on you to include you in his miracle. Because he can do it whether you are there or not. Now, if we are going to pray for you, we are going to pray for you. So, when we learn to think, to have that end time to mindset. mindset. Okay, when we learn to know that God does not have any dates with us. God does not owe us. God is not indebted to us. Then you will get to know that whatever he decides to do in your life, it's because he has chosen to. Even if you are really indebted to him. How many people are demanded and they don't pay? Those days I was telling someone. There are people that may come. I don't know but I know how to deal with different kinds of people. He puts people in the folders. You know when you're on computer. There are files. There folders. So, you put certain files in a certain folder. You may say this folder is for music. This folder is for documents. Then even in the folder for music, you say this is for local gospel music. This is for South African gospel music. So you keep putting different files in different folders. So the way I deal with people in my finances I put people in folders about a month back a certain friend sent me a message the same person he borrowed 150,000 yes, yes I already knew the folder he was in my point is even the one you're indebted to. You may decide to pay or not. And if the person is paying, you pay. You pay. You pay. You pay. You pay. You pay. And if the person pays you, thank God that he has paid. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And I do not give that. We let in certain things. That is that area. My point is gratitude dispels the entitlement mentality. Entitlement mentality. Many people have got endowment. If you feel entitled, even if Pastor calls you, he says after all, he's the pastor, so he has to look for me because he's the pastor. You feel entitled to be sought after. But an, another person who doesn't have an entitlement mentality will be grateful and say, wow, my pastor has I don't take it lightly. Sometimes I just look at And I usually make this statement to my friends who come home that thank you for coming to Entebbe. Many people dread that journey to Entebbe. They think Entebbe is far. 
They think Entebbe is really far. It is about that song. He sang that song. Entebbe is really far. So I think people got it and thought. I always tell my friends. Thank you for coming. Don't take it lightly. Because when it is possible, if someone comes non driving, some of them I can even get to the house. I can get to the house or to town. He is caught in them. And appreciate them. them. Thank you so much for coming. Praise the Lord. Because I don't take it for granted. I don't take it as an entitlement. Praise the Lord. Even things you're entitled to. Still they can choose not to be given to you or to be given. Praise the Lord. What is that thing that you feel entitled to? Amina. Let's say you, you are at home. You feel like it is normal, it is a must for me to eat. Let's say you're working. Yes, true, you're entitled to a salary. Never make up a travel never call a music jetor or never to a store. A couple of months with no salary. If you're to be grateful, you need to cast out the entitlement mentality. Open your Bible in Deuteronomy chapter 8. Deuteronomy chapter 8. Chapter 8. Chapter 8. Chapter 8. Deuteronomy. Chapter 8. Praise the Lord. God was teaching this people a son. He was telling them, never think. Do not think that you are entitled. That's what the Bible says. Not by power. Not by might. But by his spirit. Deuteronomy chapter 8. Chama take a sulam nana. Tutandi kile kuro nyiriri. Uro musam vukale. Tutandi kisomi ya nana ye. Kale tutandi kile kuro kubiri. Verses 2. Bible in Uganda, Yaluzung. Yaluganda. Yaluganda, Chi, Yenja Galova, Jess, Teraku, Kunyumiro. Simanya over here, Quato Someno, Nay, Aluganda. Candava Zifanagan. Zifanagan. Savage to go. A chama take a slum nano rock with it. Eda or not, you can go again to room now. Mokama Katonda, we are good tambourism. If you are to be a grateful person, you must always remember. If you don't remember, you don't give thanks. If you're too forgetful, some children get disagreements with their parents. But a really a sensible child, when you remember something, 
put everything aside and reconcile with the father or mother. But those who are not really wise, they will not mind. You always remember. Mm -hmm. Akutowazi, mm. akukeme, okumanya eriali mutimago. Mm -hmm. Obango genda okwe kumanga ebira kirebi, obasiwe wawo. Mm. No kutowaza, na kulumi enjala. Na kutowaza, na kulumi enjala. Na kulisa emanu, gwe walito manyi. So emanu, je walito manyi. Je walito manyi. Mm -hmm. So ne wajia jabo, te baji manyanga. Mm. Okuteke zango omuntu, omuntu tava mulamu na mele yoka. Ne oruabu lichiva mukamwa kamu kama. Chino chechigambo yesu chia koti nga msule mpia. Aini munda gane mpia. Ti omuntu tava mulamu wa mele yoka, chava wano. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ne oruabu lichiva mukamwa kamu kama. Mm -hmm. Omuntu chava wa mulamu. So maruwa kuna? Ebya malobyo, tebya kadiranga mungwe. Mumia kaji na makumi ana. Ebya malobyo tebya kadiranga. Abantu ba nuba ve misiri. Bage na mungu nsuvi zeba ita mudungu. Ne mukuita mudungu. Na through the wilderness. Ebya kama makumi ana. Forty years. Temuli duka mwe bagulango yeye. They did not have any shop to buy clothes. Ne mukama na ziteka kupose. But the Lord put them on poles. Gatezika diwa, teziulika, zebava na wedi, zebava na zedi. Mkuu mwenye baziwe, aniwa na dino rugoye, gomaze na rumi yaka kumi neta. Gorino rugoye gomaze na rumi yaka kumi neta. Duluwa, agambi ruli kaba, lechitegeza tu cha ruambal, cha la sengu gogenda kuwazanga tu zee. Mkuu mwenye baziwe. Mm -hmm. So, so Imagine you're walking for 40 years. But your feet do not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ense yengano ne sayiri ne miza bibu ne tini. Nti mukama abatuwa la monsi. Kati mudungu muvu deyo. Bali ba na atiro crossing kwa yo kire lebi gambo vino. Mudungu muvu deyo mugenda monsi. Mukama abatuwa la monsi. Ense ya achi. Kubanga mukama katonda u. Aku yingi za monsi enunji. Ense ye migaji ama zi. E yenzi zi nebi diba. Mm. Aga kulukutira mubi wongu ne kunsozi. Mm. Ensi eyengano ne sayiri. Nemi zabibu, nemi tini, nemi, nemi kumama wanga. Mm -hmm. Ensi mo, mwono lira ngemele netebula. Ensi mwono lira ngemele nukuta netebula. Wadu wane yali hatu gambo wa Uganda. Some one brother was testifying. Nti yalinga kubabuku vivibufana nyi. You could only imagine. Nti dalo mtu asobo loku ya nakuta. Someone could only eat and you get satisfied. Kubamu vulambu ye ya lita chira vako. Because he had never seen it in life. Ngatari ya nakuta. Meka tu wano mkama vagamba. Ensije mugenda mu. This land you're going into. Mugenda mu ensije mutaburu wenga mele. You never lack food. Jemuna alianga ni mukuta. You always eat. Mm-hmm. So venga ko choburua omu. Ensi ama inja gayo chuma. Ne munso zizayo o inzo kusima evikomo. Ne munso zizayo inzo kusima evikomo. Ani yali ya mbade kuchikomo. Ngabu osima. Gosanga yo chikomo ngo ya mbala. Mkama yeva ziwe. Oyo ngele. Ure kumi. Era onori anga nukuta. Onori anga nukuta. Ne weva za mkama katonda u. Ni weba za mukama katonda u. Orensi enunji. Mm. Nje ya kuwa. Mm -hmm. We kumenga. We gende leze. Ole mo kwela vila mukama katonda u. Ole mo kwela vila mukama katonda u. Ubute kuma angabila kilobye. Mm -hmm. Nemi sangoji. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bono malanga o kulia no kuta. Bono malanga o kulia no kuta. Ilango maso nyumbe nunji. Gozimbe nyumbe nunji. No kutu ulomu. Mm-hmm. Ere ntezo nembu zizonga zaze. Ntezo nembu zizonga zaze. Nabiyo nabiyo olinanga biyaze. Mm. Kalo omutima kwe gule menga okugulumi zibwa. Omutima kwe gule menga okufuna entitlement mentality. Nga gugamba gutia. Newera vila mkama katonda wo. Mm-hmm. E ya kujia mwuse ye misiri. Mm. Mwenyumbe yo hudu. Mm-hmm. E ya kuisa mudungwe tene. Ile liye ntisa. Mm. Umwari ye misote e jomu lilo. Ne njabe jobu sagwa. Mm-hmm. E taka e lilu mwa. E nyota awatari mazi. Mm. E ya kujira mazi kuruwazi. Uwe mbale bale. Mm. E ya kuisiza mudungu emanu. Batia jabo jibata ama nyanga. Uwe kuminenya. Minenya. Do you know that that happens? Mm. God comes helping you. He helping you a bit. But when you reach there, at the top, you then say, hey, I was powerful, I did it. Era olemengo kwa kina muti magu. Olemengo kwa kina muti magu. Obu yinza mwangi. Mm. Na mani kwa mkono kwa wangi. Mm-hmm. Biebi mfuni dobu kakabu. Biebi mfuni dobu kakabu. Na yono juki langa mkama katonda wo. Ono juki langa mkama katonda wo. Kubango oyu. Kubango oyu ya kolachi. Ya kuobu yinza. Ya kuobu yinza. Obufuno obu gaga. Mkama yeba zibwe. Amina. Mkama yeba zibwe. Amina. Anything you have, whatever will ever become, never take it that it has been by your own power. Maybe you have done something, about it, but I want to remind you that those who have done the same thing, they have not achieved what you have. Praise the Lord. Others have done the same. But I have not achieved it. That means there has been another power. There has been another help. Another thing, gratitude. Appreciates effort. A grateful mentality. An attitude of gratitude. Appreciates effort. Appreciates improvement. Not only perfection. Sometimes the reason is why you don't, you're not grateful. It's because at times you think it is not yet perfect. Some mathematics teachers they can beat their students because he has scored nine. Five Why did you leave the, the five percent? Praise the Lord. That attitude only wants to recognize perfection. Doesn't appreciate effort. Doesn't appreciate improvement. Certain times people may do certain things. And they put in a lot of effort. And they go through a lot. But just because it has not come out as perfectly as you would have wished it to. 
doesn't mean you shouldn't be grateful. Abe mikwano. Beloved. Mukama atwagala. God loves us. Mukama yebaziwe. Praise the Lord. God is not only interested in your perfection. Katonda tayagala bitukiride byokaku. God appreciates effort. Asima na amanya matono. When God sees you putting in effort to do certain things. He appreciates effort. When you make an improvement. Singokole bintu nebisinga kwate kubya jo. Nga wali mu binyo. You were badly off. Yes, you are not the best. But instead of being the best, you are at least you are a... Hey. 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 God looks at that improvement. He will make it. My son, you will make it. Praise the Lord. Gratitude, an attitude of gratitude. Appreciates effort. Appreciates improvement. Not just perfection. Amina. Let's learn to appreciate improvement. Olivia Banga. Against the cost step. If someone has on a step, come here, as you will. Nina Nino Mullins. I name Yaka Vidi name is a tan. I have my son is two years and five months. To go gamble Yaka Vidi next to two and a half years. Come here, as you will. Praise the Lord. Again, and I get a big gamble. Sometimes he begins to speak words. Because he can make a construct a sentence. Where he turned the kids off, where he had to get a chicken, but he got a chimu chimu. It was said just a word. Then he turned the phrases as if he got baby baby. He turned to go to take a baby baby. If he got baby, he won't go get a no more baby. Sometimes you could tell him to say this. Na cha tula bula la newe busa na uli dati. No more baby to vale emu. Emu. Bidi. Bidi. He na puga baby satu. He says you satu. No mugamba kumi. Kumi yari agamba muni. No gamba no yemu chipo choku choku ri raku auli demu. Mukama yeba ziwe. Nenga ate olaba nti afubie. I did not put in that effort. Katyo mane wote we mukwata. Ne mukube miku. Ne mugamba ruachi kumi ojita muni. Mukama yeba ziwe. By the way, biya mani biya mani si biya mani. What I know is not what. Probably if I were in his position, I would be worse. Singa ba demu chifu chowa na adwa dati mubi nyonge. Ahi zokuwa yatani koko gera kumi kumi ezi kumi. Talking about ten months. I started very late at two years. Mukama Evans. Sigamanti je natandika. Tebunquato. Appreciating effort. Na kuzinota cha gamba na muni. Ayogera kumi na jia tulaburunji. Now he pronounce it well. Why is Okubanga? Why do you have to tell us that? Maybe there are things that you are not aware of. But it's not at the start, the beginning. But it's not at the start, the beginning. Kama yeba ziwe. Tuino mwala avele waka. We have a daughter at home. Ala vidida Dawdi na Danieli. The caretaker of David and Daniel. Boyali ya katandi kwa kubele waka. The first time she came to the first time. It was the way she could prepare my talk. It doesn't come out perfectly. Hey, Polish. Next time she will go. Then you must not be perfect like the one Pastor Maria cooks. But if you recognize that there is an improvement from where she was. She wrapped that improvement. That is an attitude of gratitude. Never wait for perfection to be grateful. One way to show gratitude. Of course, there are many ways. You can tell a person, thank you. You can give someone something physical. Says I used to do something. Chala wanga chimani. 
But you can appreciate someone with something physical. No gain the woman. Let's say you go to someone. No vaco come to Adida. You take something to them. That is uh, a way of showing gratitude. But one other way of showing gratitude is extending grace to others. Extending grace, being gracious to others. Yes, we are getting a little bit of a problem. One day Jesus told a parable. He had no mood to do it. He had a servant. Now again, the Amazon you were banned. He was forgiven all his debt. Yamuita. He called him. Mumuito no. Some of them. Account is angazing amba. Like account say. Abanji bo bukade chikumi. So bring him to me. He came before the king. And he told him you. Should go to prison for 15 years. And fell before the king. And pleaded. Oh yes sir. Don't believe. Do not. Because a millimeter. My father will pay it. The king laughed and then he was touched. Agam, I'm free him. him. Forgive him all his debts. When the servant went, let's say, up to Kauku, he met this other person. He demanded him only 50,000. What I did. Can pay me my money now. I've been forgiven. I want to go and rejoice and pray. Nsasura, nata ndiko mwenye orobu lago, na hamukube vikondi. And even beat him. Kati abali uo, nivamula avi akola. They watched him. Nivaduka nivagamba kawaka. He went first and told the king. Sibo kawako manye chivadeo. You know what has just happened? Ne joni go waka sonyi wa sente. This joni wa forgiven all his debts. Ie nga sanzi mune kwa habanja. He made this other friend. Nga misi za siburu unji. He don't treat him well. Kawaka na gambe chi. The king was like what? Bamlete wano. So he was someone who was in prison in 50 years. In fact, Bible or Lugero Erita, the parable of the ungrateful servant. Erita or Lugero or Romsa Jaita Sima. Why is he called ungrateful? Because he couldn't extend grace to another. Gratitude extends grace to others. No manya anti mukama kusasi. And you know the Lord has only now we know sasi la la. Being kind to you, so you also be kind to others. Oksasi la siko ekugamba sorry. Being kind is not just saying sorry. Extending grace. No kusasi la. Means you don't be too hard on others. Toka luba nyu. Just because. You recognize that God has been gracious to you. Praise the Lord. I don't know how I wrote a statement on my Facebook page. I heard it from somewhere. The seeds of discouragement cannot take root in a grateful heart. If you have a grateful heart, you will rarely be discouraged. Many people are discouraged, but the root cause of it is they are not very grateful. The Bible says that in everything, give thanks to God. The Bible has never told you to give thanks to God for everything. See, we give thanks for everything, but give thanks in everything. That means that. Comfortable. Some things will not be comfortable. There are those that will not look to be good. 
Bible itaku wa deka zito nti Biyeba li zekatonda nebibie viku wa deko Tiweba zekatonda uruwe mbere mbi Neku gambi wakatimu mbere mbi O inzo buteba zoruwe mbere mbi Ne wakatimu yoweba zekatonda in that situation. Just give thanks. And guess what? With that attitude, you won't be discouraged by that. Amen. Build a habit of gratitude. When I was coming in, Pastor made a statement. The habits. Exactly what you, but he implied that habits. Are formed of what we do repeatedly. Praise the what Lord. What you do repeatedly becomes your habit. Whether good or bad. Bible Gamba. Jesus went to the mountain as it was his habit. Amen. It was his habit. You can form habits. At first, as you're creating a habit, it may be uncomfortable. It may not be easy. But as you continue, it will become part of you. And the problem is, don't put much effort to fight certain things. God will find you in one corner. It's <laughs> crazy. Because he wants you to become it. Um, the man in the Bible called Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar. Yali Kabaka wa Babylon. He was the king to Babylon. If you said that Babylon is the king it was ruling the world. Babylon is the king of the world. Because it was on top of. Ya wamba ne Israeli. It even captured. They took out people who went to Jerusalem and they became slaves in Babylon. And Nebuchadnezzar was that king. One of the people taken there was this man called Daniel. And the others. Praise the Lord. One day he had a dream. He dreamed of an idol. It had different parts on it. So he sought for interpreters. He even put the things in front of him. The astronauts, the wise men and old wizards to come and interpret my dream. But I will not even give you the dream because I'm tired of it. <laughs> the the I want people to come and tell me the exact exact dream, and even give me the exact interpretation. These men came before the king. Like, oh, king, we were not with you in your dream. Even even if we were in the same room, how could we really know what you dreamt? So the king refused to tell me the dream, let kill them. So as they had started dreaming, Daniel heard of it. Then he told them, wait. First pause. Because we have God. Who's more than able to reveal the hidden. So Daniel interpreted the dream. The king got happy. Because the man told him the exact dream. And even the meaning. I told Daniel to say, I know you're not a fake. Because I feel this thing has really touched me. And told him. Daniel has got a God. And this God is God alone. Could you really expect King Nebuchadnezzar to worship God? Afternoons, he made another offering. I told him everyone has to bow down and worship. Amen. But Daniel refused to worship him and his friends. And whatever happened, happened. They were thrown to the fire, but they came out alive. After 
Kabako Yonaro Teach Road. That king had another dream. Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar. This dream Daniel was called to come and interpret. Daniel told him, King, that dream means you are powerful. You are the king. You are about to be cut off. And what happened after? Bible One day as he was walking in his palace, he ran, he ran mad. Praise the Lord. He went Just like the dream was, he started eating grass. 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 For seven good years. Praise the Lord. After God showed him, told him he should learn to be appreciated. So that he can get back to his senses. But finally he watched the Lord. Yet at the beginning he did not worship God. So, sometimes we refuse to build certain habits in you. You should not wait for God to, 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 do, it it by to do it by force. Like he did to this king. Let me finish with this. 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 Two men were shifting. Let me finish with this. Going to another country. Those of you who read the migration, the Bantu migration, the Luo migration, the which other one? That one not hmm? Some of you were really sharp. When they could ask you questions. Discuss the Luo migration. That we have some new rules. Even if you did not go to the school, you could tell the teacher. Before I discuss the law of migration, let me first tell you about the Bantu migration. No one dika points in Makumi Avi. Goro was at your Musome so Namu thinking you teach that. Oh, Namu Fera. Come here, ever see. Make us never know about migrating. Gabadi Nature will get you again. Go into another town. Basing Wuka. So there came a law. Yatula and Kumuyango go each Wuka. And when he was ah, getting in, when these ones used to shift, find him there and hey, how is the city? Who, who are you? 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 Let me tell you about the city I'm coming from. I thank God that I've left that city. Because people there are wrong to us. Those people they are bad. They are hard. Hey, hey. I'm lucky that I've left. Hopefully I'll find good people in the city. It is the reason I've left. Someone say you could tell this person. No, because of the. Kubange no jodja. Atave no babi no kusingeri jova. Are the worst. Come here, ever zibu. Let others could come with such. You could ask me, say, how is the city? Then you first tell me about that. I'm going to see. I'm going to see. We are even going to miss them. Why? Just because I had to at least expand. That is the reason I've come this side. But I still wanted my city. People are good. They wish for God. Let me tell you this place so can't be come. You will not miss those people again. Those people are the best. This place there is peace. I wish that there is peace. So he could give different answers to different people. Lest there was it a lie or not. 
used to make them see such kinds of things. If that is what he has been saying, the other side will see the same. A matter of perception, which I call an attitude of gratitude. An attitude of gratitude will make seemingly hard situations easy to navigate through. May the Lord surely bless you.